Back to the men and back to the vault and back to Eric Lopez of Cuba. And we saw some power from Eric on still rings and you'll see that same power. He will smash that horse, jump his body into the air, leave the horse and do two and a half twists in a laid out position. This is just playing downright hard. Oh, wow. Makes it look pretty easy. You know, it's like I coach some kids and you try to get them to do this and it just never looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He started badly, but he's coming back after the third rotation. He was all the way up to fourth place. And remember, to these gymnasts, there's big-time money available here today. If you win this event, this RCA Gymnastics Challenge, you get $10,000. To someone like an Eric Lopez, well, that's like the lottery. Amy Chow, 9.575. Amy Chow gets a big score, 9.575. That breaks the tie with Tasha Schweikert for now and moves her up to second place behind Elena Prodanova. 9.637. Lopez gets the highest number today so far with a 9.637. He has come roaring back from a slow start. To the vault and Alexei Bondarenko. Actually, whenever you do this, it is one of the most difficult things in gymnastics to land. It's a blind landing and your body actually turns over three times in the air. You're flying up vertically and you're traveling across the the plane horizontally it's it's a lot to get done and then somehow magically just land on your feet here we go oh no way no wow that was amazing big big mess up in his right run start. he he adjusted his run halfway down and there on a vault like that you need every ounce of power you can get longtime russian coach leonid arkayev sort of stone-faced. They both know what just happened. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be able to see this here on, on the run. He just gets a little bit off. Right there, you kind of see him doesn't get anywhere near the block that he needs. And there was just no way it travels off to the side and, and no, no bounce off the horse. You have to be completely on your game to make that thing. Alexei Bondarenko is not going to love this score. It's a 9.175, but he had a big lead to play with. So right now he's in front of Brett McClure, the surprising American, by 28 hundredths of a point. Then it's Eric Lopez, who's vaulted all the way up to third place for Cuba. Then Stephen McCain and Jay Thornton. Remember, the top American today is very, very important. Now we switch over to the women's story. And the lead for Elena Prudenova has been maintained, but look how close Amy Chow is. Five hundredths of a point. We've got quite a battle as we head down the stretch here at the RCA Gymnastics Challenge. Back to Las Vegas after this. We're back here in Las Vegas, continuing our coverage of the Visa American Cup Series here in the RCA Gymnastics Challenge. The women have reached the halfway mark. Amy Chow leads the way. Then it's Tasha Schweikert back by a few tenths. But if Tasha could somehow beat Morgan White, that would be a big step for her. All of this comes under the watchful eye of the new national team coordinator. And I want to tell you, Bella Caroli was working the room today, talking to virtually anybody who has anything to do with USA Gymnastics. But back he is. And where he goes, there's usually a little controversy involved. Tim Daggett sat down and talked to him today. I know the time is short, it's extremely short, and every day we're getting closer and closer to the final stage. But I believe with uh, the planning, how I was planning to have every single month a training camp, a centralized training camp, when the most important key people of the national team would come together, to train together, to be, have an ability, I have an opportunity to give them directions, to give them the fire, to give them the incentive to stick together and to go strongly toward the final goal might make a, a, a major difference. I believe on the power and the talent of these young people, even though people are saying our deafness is not like we used to have, but I still know that physical talent is in there, but the desire got to be upgraded and, and just the, the willingness to put everything in the line to reach our common goal. 
China was actually the second uh, lap down of the team, coming up from the reigning Olympic world champion team title, going down to the sixth place in the world. Is not the one what we deserve, not the one what is young, very talented athletes are deserving period. Uh, what I learned just watching the tapes and watching uh, uh, through the television uh, broadcast, their performance, uh, my realization, uh, technically they were up to uh, be among uh, the foremost uh, countries in the world, gymnastic countries in the world, but physically uh, they were not in shape. The physical readiness was, was way, way below uh, the expectation. That's why they could not keep up with the everyday demand of performing right, being ready, being uh, upbeated, and be energetic on the floor. Um, yes, physical standards are the ones I'm concerned more about that, and upgrading that one is my major concern. Second of all, the fire, the unity. I mean, the fire in their eyes, the, the willingness to come out. But you know what? With the physical standard upgrading to the point, the confidence is going to come back, the smile is going to be there, those, that fiery desire to come out on the floor and to perform will come with them. So better preparation, more consistency on the preparation, and, and a more thorough preparation is going to give them the fire, and it will be easy to influence them positively. Come on the floor, let's go with, let's go with out over there, and repeat the performances what we are entitled to have, and you deserve to have it. Well, I tell you, it is impossible to be in a room with Bella Caroli and not be excited. He's going to bring that fire back. He's going to get him conditioned. But the most critical thing that he has to do, he needs for the coaches and the athletes to buy into this. If that happens, then it's, it's a win-win for everyone. Now Jay Thornton just trying to salvage what has been a very tough day. 9025, 915, 8.85, 9137. There's another mistake. He's going to cover, and it's he's not going to get deductions for it, but he's going to lose a lot of bonus because of it. Great dismount, that beautiful double pike. That sights it up. You know, Jay really can look good. Nice gymnast, very, very controlled in, in his work, but sometimes he he has had some problems in international meets right there. He had to improvise, but he's been around. Didn't drop the ball completely. And if you want to know what he thinks about this day, he and Stephen McCain, right from a gymnast standpoint at American-gymnast.com. So that's where you would get their perspective. Tasha Schweikert from Las Vegas on the balance team. Huge support for her here. Now, who knows how this works out? Maybe Tasha Schweikert has an unbelievable year 2000, qualifies for the Olympic team. It'd be a great story. And one of the reasons why it would be so interesting is that she was actually born two months premature, meaning that she turns 16 in the Olympic calendar year. Had she been born on time, that not that would not have been the case. So uh, that's a little quirk in making her eligible to go to Sydney. Well, she is off to a tremendous start. I've been so impressed with how serious she has treated this competition. And we are finding out right now a little bit more of how she handles great pressure at an international event coming up to a big pass here. Solid. Doesn't hurt that she's got the big home gym advantage. Those big cheers pump you up. Sometimes I can throw you off, but yeah. this is really helping her out. And if there's a place where the nerves can come into play, it's balance beam. Just remember, if the Ukrainians had their visa, she's watching this on television. Or maybe just sitting in street clothes up in the stands. Just the dismount. because that, that dismount had plenty of power. Mom Joy and Dad Shannon Warren, she trailed Amy Chow by four tenths coming in, and you, you see the disappointment on her face. She's oh, so she close to sticking that pull that off. Let up just a little bit too early, and, and like Tim mentioned, that is a breeze for her. She has so much power. Look at way up there. 
just a little bit longer, she would have been there. That's a shame, although that is a deduction, probably up to three tenths. Yeah, you think about those for a long, long time, I'll tell you. Mom and Dad watching the dismount. There it comes. Darn. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Ouch, too bad. Uh, but they've announced Jay Thornton's score. It's a 9.325. That's significant because it's the best score he's had all day, and it moves him ahead of fellow American Stephen McCain.